All right, guys, just got done. Oh, shoot. Look how long my hair is. This is a new shampoo right now. It is apple cider vinegar. It says two in one. Clarifies scalps and restores shines to hair. Infuses with apple cider vinegar. I've done the ACV rinse recently, but I haven't washed my hair. Shampooed my hair actually, so. Uh, one of the things that cosmetologist told me is that whenever you guys bleach your hair and stuff like that, since you guys are stripping a lot of the nutrition out of your hair, please condition your hair or shampoo your hair. You guys have this amount of length to your hair. And you're trying to like kind of dread it up. It's gonna come off easily because of how small and short it is and doesn't have any holds towards the dread. So it's a banger. Thank you guys for liking and commenting in the past few videos. The videos have been doing really good. For this video, the banger comment will get a free dreadlock jewelry, so make sure you comment. All right, welcome back to another video. Back to verse universe today. I'm in the bathroom. Not funny. All right, guys. I'm coming at y'all with a bleach dreadlocks. Last video, as y'all seen, I bleached my dreadlocks. In the process of getting to from my final dyed hair you guys have requested this the first option was platinum and uh sorry guys to disappoint but i don't think i'm gonna be doing that but you guys gonna find out in the next video i just saw this dreadlock shampoo that head and shoulders i used to use these shampoo a lot actually back in the days and somebody said those shampoos are trash man and so I stopped using them. This is a new shampoo right now. It is apple cider vinegar. It says two in one. Clarifies scalps and restores shines to hair. Infuses with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar it tends to kind of dry your hair from my understanding because it's mainly to remove the dandruffs and stuff. So I'm thinking they combine it. Yeah, it says uh, shampoo plus conditioner. So this is interesting, right? As you guys know, I'm very careful about the products I use to my hair because I am I just don't use products at all, man. So this is a shot to give it a go. I'm sure you guys what my scalp look like right now. It's, I've done the ACV rinse recently, but I haven't washed my hair, shampooed my hair actually. So uh, one of the things that cosmetologist told me is that whenever you guys bleach your hair and stuff like that, since you guys are stripping a lot of the nutrition out of your hair, please condition your hair or shampoo your hair. Wash it with a really nice shampoo or a conditioner mixed together, whatever it is that you guys use that is healthy for your hair. You know, you guys know what's good for your hair and use that after the bleach because your hair really needs that nutrition because you guys see it's stripped away. All right here, cool thing is I got a GoPro set up. So when we get in the shower, y'all get in the shower with me. That may sound sus, man, but y'all just gonna see my head and that's it, all right? So don't trip. So as you guys see my hair, so it's looking like right now, a lot of Flakes, I would say. Dandruffs, yeah. And I do need a retwist soon. As you guys can see, uh, I don't interlock my hair or anything like that. So anything that I dry retwist t tends to come off in within, I think, two months. Yeah, that's the last time I retwisted my hair. So that's not a bad time for dry, a healthy retwist. And Gunther the Great came up with a new gel retwist, organic also. So when you start headed towards those, I know I'm having products come out anytime in the future. I would say within a year, I'm having like conditioner and like scalp scrubber and things like that out for you guys. And I may even include a shampoo and an oil. So just just stick out your head for that. But I have I'm not working on a gel or anything like that. So I'm gonna end up copping one from Gunther the Great, man. Cause that's the boy. That's the boy right there. Alright, so this is what it's looking like. I've been kind of itching. Not out of the need to itch, but out of basic basically curiosity. I'm always curious on what what kind of build up, like how much build up is in my hair. So when I, when I itch it by myself, it's like, I find a lot. But when I itch it on like camera, I guess I itch it all out or something. It tends to have no, no flakes. Like where are y'all at? I was just with y'all earlier. Yeah, this is what my hair looking like. Even with the green, y'all see the green kind of like faded in right here. It's just cause the last thing I used was a bleach. And so the bleach stripped the main part that I had it on and some of it that got touched up in the process. 
when the when it stripped out the black underneath it was the green or the uh, blue that I used to have and you guys know that when a blue color and a, a yellow color matches together or mixes together and you get the green so that's literally what's going on right now you some people look told me like it looks cool like your hair looks dope so I might just take pictures like this and post it also before I do a second coat of the bleach because I need to do another bleach uh, which I'm thinking about just doing a hair color remover instead of a bleach based on how which one is will benefit my hair from here forward because I use the bleach already and I'm not trying to bleach it again like my hair gets skinny when I do that and let's get into the after one more cool thing I wanted to do, should just show you guys I don't know if this is bragging or something but my GoPro is put right here and you guys can see basically everything that goes on back here so I can see it on my phone basically that's all I'm saying and GoPro is not like the best camera to like do these things with but to vlog and take it outside and stuff like that is pretty cool but in the lighter in the darker background or in a darker room I think it's harder but it's cool that it has like you know control system right here I can record right here I can turn it off right here I can change it to photo camera timer different things on on the app all right I'm gonna try this out now Mainly the scalp. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. It smells like apple. I apply it to all the sides. That it can possibly be neat. And I'm using it to my sides also. Since I have a high top, I'm gonna wash that side pretty well too. Got done. Oh shoot! Look how long my hair is. I think it's long, but at the same time, I don't think it's that long. You gotta rinse it pretty good. Don't neglect that part, man. Especially with the shampoo and everything, and the dandruff mixed. That's not a good build up. That's a bad one. Somebody gave me a pro tip last time on YouTube because I read all your YouTube comments. Matter of fact, the best YouTube comment gets a free jewelry. Come on, let's get it. Yeah, they gave me a pro, a pro tip. Instead of using a towel uh, that had like lints and uh, stuff like that to it. And you can't, you might not be able to see it, but if you try to strip it, you see just some fuzziness to it. Instead of having that, if you guys don't even have a good towel, just use a cotton shirt, they said. So, when I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, you're right, actually, there's nothing on here, so why not? Gotta put it on like that, and then you come right here, make sure that it's tight. Not too tight, but tight enough. And then you can just twirl it, spin it, do it like that, and then put it back, and then tuck it in, in the back of your head. And boom. The thing is, I don't like washing my hair for the reason of drying my hair. I'm not really complaining, but at the same time, having dreads and taking a shower is no joke. Most of the time, you guys know, when you guys take a shower, you're not trying to let the water touch your hair unless you're actually specifically washing your dreadlocks. So, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after it dries out. Uh, see the aftermath, and we gonna get to the end of this video. All right, <laughs> kinda dry, but I'm gonna show you guys the aftermath. Let's see if it removed any dandruff issues. Oh, looks clean in here. Hello, hello. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't applied any oil or anything like that. Just literally fresh out the shower. I need to separate it, of course. 
So I'm gonna do that while I do this. Usually you know how to separate it whenever you pick one up and it just like it brings with a with it the other dreads. See that? So this one is connected to the other one is rising up, popping the head up, and then you hope you separate it like so. I learned that the hard way. Okay. This needs to be connected to this. It probably came off because of you know the watch that I had. That's why I tell a lot of people that you know starting your dreadlocks and you guys have this amount of length to your hair and you're trying to like curl it up or you're trying to dread it up. It's gonna come off easily because of how small and short it is and doesn't have any holds towards the dread. So you now I'm gonna combine this with the rest of it on the front. So that's why I tell people to connect it or to grow their hair out and then start a dreadlock. So for this shampoo test. I think the shampoo passed, man. I'll let you guys know in the next video or something if I have any, you know, aftermath or something like that. You know, dryness or anything like that. But so far, so good. Yeah, I don't feel anything. I feel like it's a good shampoo. I might, I might reach out to them and hit them up and be like, y'all mind sponsoring me or something? Because your boy kind of like it. You see that? There's a connection right there. So I'm trying to find basically where the main dreads is at. See the length of it? That's where it should be at. Don't be stripping out your hair. You should be pulling down, not up down and if it's just dread is inside here and it's supposed to be going down there you'll be able to take it out without ripping it off especially when it's tangled like that all right guys i just got done with the separation and uh yeah, my hair smells really good right now. I really like the smell of the apple cider vinegar shampoo that heads and shoulders have. I'm not telling you guys to go get it because I'm not sponsored yet, but yeah, you go get it. You know, if it works for me, then it works for most of you guys' hair type. I'm gonna let you guys know, update you guys if I have any after effects and upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out the previous video. And by the way, for the best comments below, hold on a second, let me show y'all. Best comment below can actually win a giveaway from Activerse. You may ask, what is that? It is actually Drelog Jewelries that is sold on Activerse.com, which is my website that came out about a month ago. I think it's two months now, and it looks like, you know, it looks like this, basically. So we got that, this jewelry right here, which is silver piece, and it has a meaning towards every one of them. It's just not, you know, I'm not just wearing it just because everybody got cross earrings or cross tattoos. The jewelry has a meaning and story to it. You guys seen the first two, and this is a Saints cross right here. This is... Uh, also found on Activerse.com, Saints Cross, Activerse Cross, and then we got the uh, silver piece. If you guys, you know, want to win this, just do the best comment, I would say, for now to win this. Or you can go get it at a 20% discount at 20 Banger right now, you know, on the website. It's for sale. Just put in 20 Banger and you would get 20% off your entire order. And if your order is anywhere above like $25, we give you guys also free shipping. I'm going to show you all some pictures actually of people wearing it right now. And this is what it looks like, man. It's not no, you know, just trying to get some money off of y'all. It actually looks really good. And for those of you guys that have different color hair, you know, the silver one would rock. Somebody had asked me also a black one. So soon I may release a black jewelry that goes perfectly with the, you know, lighter shade of dreadlocks but if you guys have also bleached hair like mine or tipped dyed tipped or you know bleached tip you guys can rock the silver one and actually will stand out and if you have anything darker orange can be dark you know blue can be dark black can be dark uh you can wear it with the gold and it'll stand out it just it just looks dope like that's one of the things that people ask me as soon as they see me like where do you get that from or like how did you make that yourself and technically i kind of did in a way because uh, i changed out the packaging and everything i fought to get these for y'all on, on the low low because i used to want to sell it for like 12 bucks because how much they were charging me but uh the minimum is this four bucks or something like that that you guys can cop on my website so Get it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support. Till next time, keep back to the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse. Where's the hype at? And I'm out. Stay tuned. You dig?